Hi friends, welcome to Hibernate tutorial. In this video, I'm going to talk about Hibernate architecture. What is Hibernate architecture and what are the layers included, included in the Hibernate architecture? Hibernate architecture includes many persistent objects, session factory, transaction factory, connection factory and session and transaction. There are four important layers in the Hibernate architecture. Java application layer, Hibernate framework layer, backend API layer and database layer. Please look at this picture. This is our application. So you will have your business logic application. It might be enterprise or any any application. Okay. So here in this application, we'll, we might have a lot of persistent objects. That means you have entity you, you have your own entity that you want to persist in any database now that's where the hibernate comes into picture where it helps you to persist the objects in the database so you don't have to write your own uh, sql queries so give your entity objects or you give your persistent objects to the hibernate hibernate will take care of persisting the objects in the database but before that you have to inform hibernate about few details about your entity objects and few details about the database say which database what is the username password what is the database name few things like that okay and mapping file you can ask me what's the use the use of the uh, mapping file is to map between the entity and the table okay so i'm going to show you an example so this will be my entity class a POJO class which will exactly uh, represent the table okay so here we have the table annotations and entity annotations so here this class is representing representing the table object okay so when I say save this book uh, in the book table all these entries will be saved and here we have session factory you can see the session factory here we are building the session factory from this helper class and we are getting the session and we are beginning the transaction and we are saving it transaction you know why do we need the transaction it is for atomic work a unit of work you want to make it atomic okay so that's where transaction comes into picture and I want to show you a very important configuration file hibernate cfg.xml file why do we need this this is very very important we have to inform the hibernate about our database details so here it will have what is the dialect what is the connection url what is the database name what is the driver then username password and few other operations and few other configurations and the mapping details as well okay so here we don't have mapping.xml file but in the java class itself we can map the corresponding attributes in the table okay so this is all about hibernate architecture in brief hope this video is useful thank you